Good evening, everybody. Growing calls tonight to investigate the Clintons, their collusion with Russia, their foundation, her email scandal, and the former president's profiteering. Over the past week, there have been three separate reports by congressional Republicans demanding answers. Nearly two dozen Republicans are now calling on the Trump Justice Department to appoint a special counsel to investigate the number of scandals involving Hillary Clinton and the Obama administration. Tonight, I'll be talking with one of them, Congressman Ron DeSantis, and the Senate Judiciary Committee has also given the Justice Department until this Thursday to disclose whether it's investigating alleged collusion between a Democratic National Committee operative and Ukrainian government officials. And Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee last week voted to demand FBI documents pertaining to the Clinton email investigation. Specifically, they want former FBI Director James Comey's conversations with Obama administration officials and journalists. Perhaps lawmakers should pay closer attention to the White House press briefing. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders today laid out the Clinton's troubling ties to Russia. You guys are focused uh, on a meeting that Don Jr. had no consequence uh, when the Democrats actually colluded with a foreign government like Ukraine. The Democrat-linked firm Fusion GPS actually took money from the Russian government while it created the phony dossier that's been the basis for all of the Russia scandal fake news. And if you want to talk further about a relationship with Ro Russia, look no further than the Clintons, as we've said time and time again. Bill Clinton was paid half a million dollars to give a speech to a Russian bank and was personally thanked by Putin for it. Hillary Clinton allowed one-fifth of America's uranium to reserve to be sold to a Russian firm whose investors were Clinton Foundation donors, and the Clinton campaign chairman's brother lobbied against sanctions on Russia's largest bank and failed to report it. If you guys want to talk about having relations, which you seem obsessed with doing, look no further than there. A compelling list put forward by the White House press secretary. My first guest tonight, part of a group of Republicans who are calling for the appointment of a second special counsel to investigate Clinton collusion with the politicized Obama Justice Department and the Russians. Joining us tonight, Congressman Ron DeSantis, a member of several key committees, including Foreign Affairs, Judiciary and Oversight, a member of the Freedom Caucus. Congressman, good to have you here. What are the odds that you'll get an investigation? Well, I think they're probably better than we initially thought. Um, part of this is Comey's testimony. If you remember, he said basically Lynch was compromised in how she handled uh, Hillary's email case. That was why he went out of order and did the press conference. So he gave us ammunition on that. And then the revelations with the Fusion GPS, some of that's been coming out of the Senate Judiciary. That needs to be investigated. I mean, that is interference in, in an election for sure. So I think the Attorney General is going to take a hard look at that letter. And I'm cautiously optimistic that we're going to see some action. You know, Republicans by the millions, tens of millions across the country right now, Congressman, are listening to you. And they're asking, wait a minute, the Republicans control the House. The Republicans control the Senate and the White House. And these idiots can't even understand the empirical evidence of collusion between the Clintons, the Obama administration, and the Russians, and have spent, wasted a year of investigation on Donald Trump, President of the United States, without finding any evidence whatsoever. Well, you're preaching to the choir on that. I think that the uh, committees in both the House and the Senate have done, gone overboard on the on the Russia collusion stuff. That had been something that Hillary had harped on. The media obviously harped on it. Uh, there just hasn't been any evidence of it. And yet here we are. The uh, that started to be investigated even before the campaign began back in the in the summer of last year. So they've been going at it for over a year, and there's still not any evidence of collusion. So yeah, my view would have been when we came into the Congress in January, we should have taken the first six months to do real significant oversight to ferret out everything that had happened with the Obama administration, the Justice Department, and then we really could Your have gotten answers David to the American Nunez people. Your Speaker threw David under the bus because he was producing evidence uh, against the Obama administration and the Clintons. 
And he's done a good job. Yeah, I think I think he needs to be back as chairman for all this. Uh, he is the one who's really been pushing on the unmasking. We now know news reports say that the committee is interested in bringing in Ben Rhodes or considers Ben Rhodes a potential person of interest. That is really explosive stuff. So I think Devin has done a good job, uh, but that should have been our focus from the beginning. Now, Devin uh, has done a, a terrific job. And so the problem is the speaker has just run him over. Uh, so has the entire Republican House leadership. Uh, and they have not uh, in any way been supportive of the president or truth. I, I mean, they are, frankly, a pack of weasels, Congressman. And you know it, and so do your uh, other members of the conference. And I don't understand why you all are tolerating that conduct, because it is appalling, absolutely appalling, to do this to a president of the United States in your own party. Well, what we need to do, and, and I'm pushing, as you know, with this IT uh, scandal involving people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, that's being handled. There's a criminal component. There's probably going to be an ethics component. But then there's also going to be a House component. And reports are saying that there is an investigation underway in the yeah. House. We don't know who these guys were, you what they had access to. But this is a pretty big scandal. And I think if the House doesn't investigate that vigorously, then that's not going to be them doing their job. Speaker Ryan, and I'll say it just as straightforwardly as I can, has been perfectly willing to aid and abet the the Dems and the left in this country through his leadership position in the House and his sway over the House Intelligence Committee, uh, it's, it's appalling. And, and, and Burr of North Carolina heading up the Senate. I mean, it's awful what they're doing to this president. So I've told the Speaker personally, I said, Mr. Speaker, these things, if there's evidence, produce the evidence. If there's not evidence, then we really got to start focusing on the things that are affecting the American people. So that's been my position from the beginning, and I think this has been drawn out. Uh, witnesses come. And it's interesting, Lou, when the uh, media will report these things, if you actually put people under oath, they're usually shooting down a lot of these media reports so far from getting evidence of collusion. You know, there isn't a if single anything, question the investigations in the have shown there's not, not evidence. Yeah. Congressman, you know there's not a question in the mind of most Americans about whether or not Donald Trump or any of his campaign colluded with the Russians. That's a great lie. It's a lie perpetrated not only by the left and the deep state, but by your leadership in the House, by the leadership in the Senate, and it's god-awful to watch. And what I don't understand, and maybe you can straighten me out here, uh, and, and I'm not singling you out, I'm talking about your entire conference. Why haven't you people out of decency and a sense of justice demanded that your leadership march down to the Speaker's office and demand that he grow a brain? Uh, I don't know if there's like a discharge petition for, for that to happen or exactly how that would work. But, I'm going to leave, but look, I'm think, gonna leave the you, particulars, you, parliamentary particulars, to you. Yeah. I, I just want the well, results. Well, you pointed out, Lou, you pointed out, though, what we did on the Judiciary Committee. That was not something that the leadership had wanted to do. Of course not. It wasn't even not. something that the chairman had wanted. So we forced the issue and were able to then get some significant media attention, get this in ses on Sessions' desk. <laughs> And hopefully we'll have announcement that there's probes started. So we, we, you do have rank and file members that, that are fighting. And I know you've recognized uh, some of us on the right. air, but, but that is Absolutely. the reality. There are people who are trying to dig in on behalf of the American people. Yeah, and, and frankly, let's say this, what we mean, digging in on behalf of a duly elected president of the United States who's getting run over not only by the deep state and the left and the Schumer clowns, but by the leadership in both houses of uh, our government. It is unconscionable. And, I, and, and, and if you will, let's turn to our attorney general. Where the hell has he been? <laughs> Why in the world is he not investigating? Well, he may be. There's going to be an announcement about uh, additional well, you know leak I'm investigations. All a, I'm all a, a, a titter over, uh, or is it Twitter? I can't remember uh, <laughs> what the attorney general may or may not do. But I'll tell you this. Tens of millions of Americans know there is uh, that Washington, D.C. stinks to high heaven. And the, and the greatest stench is rising from the leadership offices of the Republicans and the Dems in both the House and the Senate. Will it end? 
Well, I, in terms of the Justice Department, I think that we do need to know, and that's what we've been asking, is, okay, are you investigating the leak against Flynn? Are you investigating some of these things? Because we're not going to be reauthorizing some of these intelligence laws if people are going to be able to abuse it and not be held accountable. And as you know, Lou, there's been a concerted campaign to leak against this president, not just to leak to leak, but to damage him politically. So we've been in the Congress, at least on the Judiciary Committee, wanting to get answers for that. So we don't always know what they're investigating, but we've definitely requested to, to know because well, otherwise just... we really can't do our job if, if people aren't being held yeah. to account. I mean, they've leaked more in six months against uh, Pre President Trump mm -hmm. than people People leaked in eight years. When do you Barack guys Obama? get mad enough, outraged enough to go down and kick down Speaker Ryan's front door? <laughs> no, I'm serious. What are you going to do? Pretend that this is just another day in uh, uh, the swamp? Because this isn't. This is a battle for the country. No, I agree. I, I, that's why I think that we've got to get the leakers brought to justice. You know, we, we Hell, are I'll show you one of them. His name is Paul Ryan. He's still in the Speaker's office. And you guys are on vacation for another five weeks instead of even uh, staying there to rally some force to investigate these, uh, these cretins. Yeah, I think it was a big mistake to go on recess, not having finished the work that we promised the American people we Hell, would do. Hell, did you guys ever really start it? Well, look, I think that, that you, know, you look at how the health care turned out, uh, very, very disappointing when you have senators who campaigned on repealing Obamacare, walk away from a repealing Obamacare. Um, and really, that was, that was a, a damaging blow to the president uh, because he had campaigned on it. So, look, it's, it's been frustrating. I, I, I think that I, I share your frustration. I know people in, in my district will come up to me and want to know, why aren't you guys doing more in the Senate in particular yeah. to get some of this stuff across the finish line? Congressman Ron DeSantis, one of the good guys. We're coming right back with much more. Congress